Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here, and today I'm going to be feeding my Mastigoproctus giganteus, otherwise known as a giant vinegaroon or whip scorpion. I thought I'd try something new, I'm going to call it First Friday Feedings, where on the first Friday of every month I feed one of my pets, and I take a video of it. It's going to be minimal editing, it's going to be a fairly simple format, just go ahead and, and feed the animal and then talk about it while I'm doing it. So let me know what you think about that in the comments, if it's something that you'd like to see again, and which species you might like to see me feed. So let's talk a little bit about this species, the Mastigoproctus giganteus, and about this specimen in particular. Giant vinegaroons are native to the southwest USA. There are other species in various regions of the world, but to my knowledge this is the only species found in the USA, and it's the largest species that I know of as well. Um, they are arachnids, so they're related to scorpions, spiders, and to tailless whip scorpions. And though it looks like they have ten legs, those two large claw-like structures in the front, the pedipalps, are not true legs. And so it, it is indeed an eight-legged creature. And then it has another pair of legs you can see that it's using to try to sense the cricket there. Those are an antenniform legs. Oh, take a look here. Oh, near miss. It uses those antenniform legs to, as you can see, sense its prey and also to help herd the prey so that it can get a good shot at them with its pedipalps. It also has a long whip-like structure, a telson, at the end of its body, and it uses that to sense uh, prey and possible predators and so on. And it also whips it around warningly if anything gets too close, if it feels threatened. And the reason why it does that is because once it feels the threat is sufficient, it will eject a mist-like spray from structures at the, the base of that telson, and this mist-like spray consists of mostly acetic acid, which is the active ingredient in vinegar, and the smell of this uh, mist is where it gets its name because it smells very much like a strong vinegar solution. The acetic acid is about 80%, and then there's some caprylic acid, and then there's a small amount of water, so it's much, much stronger than the vinegar that you would buy at the store. And it's a pretty effective deterrent for both invertebrate and vertebrate predators. I've had this captive bred juvenile for about two and a half to three years. It just woke up from hibernation in June and has been pretty ravenous most of the time since. So I've been feeding it several times a week, making sure that it gets plenty of food. In around November or December, it'll go into hibernation and molt during that time. They only molt during their hibernation period once a year. So it looks like it, the cricket is about to approach the vinegaroon again. Watch the antenniform legs as they start to sense the cricket. Once it starts to herd the cricket towards it, then it's probably over for that cricket. Just like that. They are so fast once they decide to be, and like I mentioned before, there's no venom going on here. Um, it subdues its prey entirely by virtue of the strength and power of its um, pedipalps and all of the, the spines and crushing action that it produces with them. So extremely effective hunters. Once they, they grab onto their prey, it's rare that the prey is even able to struggle very much at all. And now it's time to put the cork barred hide back in as the vinegaroon is looking for a more secluded place to finish its meal. Thanks for watching today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this idea of a first Feeding Friday video at the beginning of every month. Uh, please feel free to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.